With this series of exercises, I'm going to show you what you can do during travel. So this will help you to keep lovely, open, free flowing chi and blood throughout all of your joints as much as possible. Now, obviously, when you're traveling, make sure you stay hydrated. If you have the opportunity to get up and walk around and move your body, then all the better. But that's not always possible. So what you're aiming for are a few exercises in order to help with the tiredness and stiffness so that when you do eventually get up and you finish your travel and you go to, a, to move around again, that you don't feel too stiff or too uncomfortable in your joints. Also, I'll give you a little breathing exercise just to work with if you're distracted during travel, because often if we're trying to get a little bit of sleep, there can be noise, there can be you know, babies crying, people talking, um, engine noise from, you know, from whatever our mode of travel is. So if you can do something in terms of your breathing to cut out those distractions as much as possible, then that will help your mental health during the course of your journey. So just to begin with then, sitting comfortably and again, check that your knees and your ankles and your feet are all around hip width distance apart. So again, what we can do with this is work with uh, shoulders and arms and hips to keep all of those joints mobile. So to begin with, with just take one arm and I'd like you to tap down the outside and then turn the palm over and tap up the inside and do that three times. So this is just helping to stimulate the chi flow throughout the arms and then swap to the other side. Down the outside and up the inside. Just working with your breathing. And then you may want to rub down and rub up a few times as well, just to get everything flowing in the area. And resting the arms and the hands just gently on your thighs, keeping the hands now nice and loose and relaxed, picking up the shoulders, rotating, breathing, using your abdominal breath, drawing circles with your shoulders and imagining in your mind's eye the center of the shoulder joint changing direction now and relax and again with hips we can work with those and the lower back area just Gently picking up one leg. You might find this a little bit more difficult than when you were standing and then moving outwards and inwards. Picking up a leg and around. So don't be restricted by the chair too much. The movement may not be as great. Closing the eyes, breathing and smiling and visualizing the inside of that hip joint. Sitting up straight as you do this. And again, not overdoing this, just very gently working with what movement is available to you at this time, never going into pain or discomfort. And relax, feet flat on the floor. And often when we're sitting, our legs can feel very stiff and heavy. So again, maybe tapping down the thighs, down the sides of the legs, up the insides. Now, if you are not in a position to lean forward, if you've got osteoporosis or high blood pressure, you don't have to go very high down, high, uh, far down. You can just stay in the upper parts of the legs here, just tapping around the area in order to help stimulate a little bit of chi flow from that very straight upright position. But if you do have a little bit more flexibility, trying to keep the back straight, going down the sides of the legs and then up the insides. And maybe rubbing the thighs as well. Just working with whatever feels good to you in around the knees, down the backs of the legs, 
up the fronts, down the fronts, up the backs, whatever feels comfortable to you, but something that's giving you any little bit of relief. Okay, now the next one, what I'd like you to do is, I'm hoping you can see me now, I'm placing my heel on the ground. And what I'm gonna do is pull my toes back, keeping the heel on the ground and just breathing with the eyes closed, breathing in and out, using the nose. And with your mind, focus on the heel. And now with your mind, keeping the heel on the ground, focus on drawing the toes back as far as they'll go, feeling a lovely stretch down the back of the lower leg into the Achilles tendon and the heel. And now very slowly, keep breathing. I'd like you to point your toes forwards. So put your, the tip of your big toe on the ground, lifting the heel and feeling a lovely stretch along the top of the foot. And again, the heel on the ground, drawing the toes back. It's great to do this with your eyes closed because you really feel and focus on what's happening in the lower legs and the feet. And point one more time. Draw back. Your mind is in your foot and point into the toes, feeling that lovely stretch around the top of the foot. And while we're on this side, just placing the ball of the foot on the ground, maybe drawing in a little bit now and, a, and circling using the ankle joint, the, ex, the full kind of range of movement available to you in the ankle joint in one direction and then in the other. Again, using your abdominal breath and visualizing the center of that ankle joint and allow that foot to come to rest. Now with the other side, extend the leg and place the heel on the ground. Mind into the heel. And then drawing back with the toes, feeling that lovely extension down the back of the leg. And now pointing the toes, big toe on the, the floor, feeling that lovely stretch along the top of the foot. Heel is off the ground. Now drawing back, heel touches the ground, toes coming back towards you. And pointing again. And now drawing the foot back, ball of your foot is on the floor now and circling the ankle joint. Closing the eyes and in your mind's eye, visualize the center of that joint. Lovely, open, free flowing chi and blood coming in to nourish your ankles and allowing the foot to come back to rest. So that's working down through the body from a sitting position. But sometimes you also might feel a little bit tired during your journey and want to feel a bit more enlivened and awake. So another thing that you can do is just a really simple little face massage while you're sitting. So just taking your fingers now and just gently bringing them to your eyebrows and just with the index and the middle finger, just following your eyebrows from the middle of the face to the outside edges of the eyebrows, as though you're combing them with your fingers. And then continue doing that a little bit higher up, going into the forehead, just to unfurrow any tension in the forehead area. And then coming to underneath the eyes, sweeping outwards from the nose towards the temples, so following the lower part of the eyes, 
almost creating a little smiley face shape with your fingers, drawing the skin up towards the ears. And you can see there I'm working my way down. So now I'm moving from the corner of the lips, but still drawing up, smiley face, trying to keep my shoulders relaxed as well, smiling with my lips as well. And then tapping around the forehead, around the cheeks, around the chin. And you may want to go into the top of the head, around the back of the head as well. And you find that this is quite a quick way to just enliven yourself, feel a little bit more awake by stimulating lots of acupuncture points around the face and slowly opening the eyes. And just breathing now and see how you feel, observe what you're feeling. So your abdominal breath is often the thing that you can come to if you feel a little bit mentally, a little bit anxious, um, if you feel worried, if you're irritated by the people on your journey, just come back to your breath, come back inside yourself and work with your abdominal breathing. As you breathe in, feel the belly expand. And as you breathe out, feeling the belly shrink. Almost as though you're moving your vision, you're hearing all your senses into what's happening around the lower belly area. So that's helping you just filter out any distraction from the outside. And gently opening the eyes. <laughs>